Hey guys, what's up? Dylan from Brooklyn back with another episode. In today's episode, we're gonna make something super American, the sandwich. And uh, a lot of names throughout the country for what people call a sandwich. Uh, I've heard grinder, hoagie, sub, but where I come from, Brooklyn, New York City, we call it a hero. And uh, today we're gonna make the American hero. And what I've heard is it's called a hero because back in the day, in the early 1900s, when factory workers were building the city, they were eating a sandwich that needed to be big enough to fill their appetites. And if anybody could take it down, they were like, oh man, you're a hero. So here we go with the American hero. So the classic American hero has three meats. We have our roast beef, turkey, ham, and then for the cheese, we have options here, provolone, Swiss, and American. But guess what? On the American sandwich, what are we gonna use? You guessed it, American. And now we got our big hero bread right here. Now, in New York, you're gonna find the best Italian hero bread. And that's what it's called, Italian bread. So if there's any Italian style bakeries where you guys live, definitely go for that. And the reason the bread is so good and why the pizza is so good and why the bagels are so good is because of the water. The water in New York is the best. We're gonna go ahead and cut this up right here. Oh man, I can feel it, it's a monstrosity. And if you're like me, you could go ahead and scoop out the dough just like this. I like to do that because I'm all about the meat. I don't really need the bread. And it's a good way to um, save some room for yourself to construct the sandwich. So what we're going to do now, let's go ahead and mayo both sides. Mm, mayo is good. Uh, in Europe, I think they use mayo like we use ketchup in America. They dip their fries in it and stuff like that. I know my friend Brian, he eats mayo sandwiches, and we think that's disgusting. But being from New York, you could always get a good hero sandwich, especially... The spot called Jimmy's, it's right in my neighborhood. We're gonna go ahead and start placing the meat. And you wanna do, you don't wanna lay the meat on evenly, cause that's just not how you make a sandwich. You wanna crumple it up so that with each bite, you get some roast beef, just a hearty bite to each bite. And this is gonna be a big hero. And that's just the way my boss Victor made it. So Victor bought Jimmy's Heroes, which is super old. It's from like the early 1900s also. Uh, and what my job was, I was like uh, hosting the bar mitzvahs, the sweet 16s, the weddings. Like, hey, it's your party. Come on down and dance with the girls. Uh, that was my job. And, uh, you know, in America, there's a lot of parties like that. Uh, sweet 16, bar mitzvah, christening, uh, confirmation, quinceanera. The turkey's going to go flat, and that's okay because it's just the middle layer. Now we got our ham. Crumple this on nicely. My mouth is watering. I love a good hero sandwich. And we love sandwiches because... In America, especially in New York, we're always on the go, right? So you could eat this while you're running even. Go ahead and get our cheese. And especially at beach time, we love having some sandwiches. And Jimmy's was right by the beach. So people, uh, before they headed to the beach in the summer, would grab a couple of Jimmy's sandwiches and be the most popular person around. Now, if you're like me and you want to add some chips onto it, potato chips, that is bomb. It's good on the side and, of course, on top. We got our tomatoes here, beautiful tomatoes. Got our onions. Now you could add whatever you want on your sandwich. If you like pickles, olives, maybe your breath is gonna smell a little, but it's worth it because it's such a good sandwich. Go ahead, right here. Oh boy, is everything staying on? Who knows? So you gotta have the shredded lettuce. So I'm gonna use my hands to construct this, and it's okay to get messy. Salt and pepper, boom. A little salt, it's gonna treat you right. Now we got an oil, Ooh, like a salad, and vinegar. It's gonna be so good. If you could take that down, you would be a hero. So go ahead and make this for your friends. See if you're the hero in your group. I know I am. Mmm. So good.